Hey, this is Presh Tolwalker. If x plus y is equal to 12, what is the minimum value of the square root of 4 plus x squared plus the square root of 9 plus y squared? I thank Hin and Aston for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. I will present two ways to solve the problem. First, I will use calculus and show the standard way to solve an optimization problem. Then I will show an incredible trick that uses only geometry. So let's get started with calculus. If x plus y is equal to 12, then y is equal to 12 minus x. So we have the square root of 4 plus x squared plus the square root of 9 plus y squared, and we can substitute that y is equal to 12 minus x. So this is equal to the square root of 4 plus x squared plus the square root of 9 plus the square of the quantity 12 minus x. This is a function of a single variable x. So we can solve this by taking the derivative with respect to x. So we use the chain rule and we have the sum of two different things. So it's going to be a little bit complicated. We can then simplify this. So we have x divided by the square root of 4 plus x squared minus 12 minus x divided by the square root of 9 plus the square of 12 minus x squared. We want this derivative to be equal to 0. We now multiply both sides of this equation by the product of the denominators. So this simplifies to be x multiplied by the square root of 9 plus the square of 12 minus x minus 12 minus x multiplied by the square root of 4 plus x squared. This is all equal to 0. So how do we simplify this equation? We move the negative 12 minus x multiply the square root of 4 plus x squared to the right hand side and then we square both sides so we get rid of the square roots. Now we're going to expand the binomials and simplify. I'm just going to skip over all of these tedious calculations. Now a nice thing happens that the x to the 4 terms and x to the 3 terms cancel out so we end up with just a quadratic equation. We have 5x squared plus 96x minus 576 is equal to 0. This is easily factorable as 5x minus 24 multiplied by x plus 24 is all equal to 0. So we get two solutions, x is equal to 24 over 5 and x is equal to negative 24. So we'll test these. So we have our function and we can test the value at x is equal to 24 over 5. This is f of x is equal to 13 and x is equal to negative 24, we substitute in to get something approximately equal to 60.2. Now we look at the derivative, we see what its value is. So when x is equal to 24 over 5, f prime of x is equal to 0. When x is equal to negative 24, f prime of x is not equal to 0. So this was an extraneous solution when we squared both sides of the equation. So we get that the minimum value is f of x is equal to 13 when x is equal to 24 over 5. Wow! So now let's solve this with a trick using geometry. So we have x plus y is equal to 12 and we want to minimize the square root of 4 plus x squared plus the square root of 9 plus y squared. So how can we turn this into a geometry problem? Well we're trying to minimize a sum of square roots and each square root is a sum of squares. So we have the square root of 2 squared plus x squared plus the square root of 3 squared plus y squared. So we can think about the hypotenuse of right triangles. So let's make a length of 12. And now let's make one right triangle where we have x on this base and the other side is equal to 2. So the hypotenuse will be equal to the square root of 4 plus x squared. Now we can make another right triangle, and this base will be equal to y, so we have x plus y is equal to 12. Now its height is equal to 3, and then its hypotenuse is equal to the square root of 9 plus y squared. So at first it doesn't seem like we simplified the problem at all. How are we going to minimize the sum of the lengths of the hypotenuse? Well, we're going to do another trick. Let's reflect this green triangle over. So now we have the same triangle just on the other side of this 12 line. So now 
we're going to imagine we want to minimize the sum of these two lengths. So let's say we have the upper left point is equal to A and the lower right point is equal to B. Let's say this point right here is equal to C. So we're trying to minimize the length of AC plus the length of CB. Now we can do this by using the principle of a straight line. So this will be a minimum when ACB is a straight line because that's the minimum distance between points A and B. So if we draw the straight line between A and B, we know that C has to exactly be right over here. So this will be the minimum length for the sum of the hypotenuses. Now in order to calculate this length, we're going to construct one more right triangle. So let's label this point as D. This will be a length of 3, and then DB has a length that's equal to 12. So we now calculate that AB squared is equal to AD squared plus DB squared. AD is equal to 5, and DB is equal to 12. So this is 5 squared plus 12 squared, which is equal to 169, and therefore AB is equal to the positive square root, which is equal to 13. So that's the answer. We can minimize the sum of the square roots by this right triangle, and we get that the minimum value is equal to 13. And I think that's a lot easier than doing all of those calculations using calculus. Amazing. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.